What's going on guys? My name is Josh. Welcome to a new video. I've made videos on this channel in the past, but honestly, they're really scatterbrained and I, I never really had like something I really wanted to do. That changes today with this video and with the videos coming out in the future where I will be helping computer science students, computer science graduates, other software developers who are out there in the field, helping them and making videos for them. I'll also be doing vlogs, I'll be doing tutorials, and I'll be doing some gaming stuff here and there. So it's still gonna be kind of scatterbrained, but not quite as much as before. So today I wanna to talk about how I became a software developer at age 22. Now, I don't wanna do like an age claim or anything like that, even though I just did an age claim, but I don't wanna like brag because I know there's software developers out there that are younger than me and more talented than me and making more money than me and working at better companies than me and all of that. So that's not what this video is for. This video is for anybody who is trying to become a software developer. Hopefully this can help because I'm trying to lay out the roadmap I, I followed to become the software developer I am today. Age 22, working at one of the top, if not the top software companies in my city. Don't really wanna say who I work for, um, we'll keep that private, but uh, I really want to give you guys an idea of how I did it. Now, I went the traditional route, so a lot of you will probably be going the same route, and uh, hopefully this, this video helps. So. Step number one, it all began in high school. I knew what I wanted to do before I graduated high school. Now that is huge. If you're super into software development in high school and you know that's what you wanna do, then you're set. Now a lot of people don't know what they wanna do in high school. And for those people, this step really doesn't apply to you. But at the end of the day, you still should be pushing yourself in high school a lot. And you should be taking a ton of AP classes, as many as possible in high school, to allow you to get those credits before you even get to college. So that's step number one. Know what you want to do in high school. And even if you don't know what you want to do, take as many APs and get as many college credits as possible before you graduate. I came out of high school as a sophomore in college. Um, my freshman year, I had enough credits to be considered a sophomore. That was huge. I took a lot of classes that went directly into my CS curriculum. Not only will that save you time in college and help you get out in four years, but it's gonna save you a lot of money in student loans. Definitely have that planned ahead of time, if at all possible, even if you're not 100% sure what you wanna do, at least take a ton of AP classes. Take as many as you can and get good grades on those. Get A's in high school, very important. Step number two, you've graduated. You're gonna to go to college, right? You need to pedal to the metal from day one in college. I mean, go to your advisor, figure out what classes you need to take, what grades you need to get, what are the most important classes to you that are going to be prereqs for other classes later on? You know, try to haggle with them and get certain credits. You know, try to get credits to transfer from high school and cover your classes in college so you can get out as fast as possible. But you need to know what classes are the most important. However, you need to focus on those classes that are not important as well. GPA matters. Now, it may not be a requirement for a lot of companies to get a job with them, but it matters. When they look at your resume, one of the main things they're gonna look at is your GPA. I mean, that's just a telltale sign of how hard of a worker you are. Figure out exactly what classes you need to be taking down your road to your CS degree, but focus on every single class. You need to get good grades throughout college. A's, A's, A's. A's everybody, is that an A, can you tell? It's supposed to be an A, and that's what you're supposed to be getting in your classes. Those, those electives, those gen eds. Get A's, man, they're easy. They're easy A's. Pad those stats for when you start taking the harder CS courses. Study your ass off. Have a good time though. College is fun, you only get to do it once, so don't, don't ruin it by only studying. I mean, you gotta have, you gotta have a life, you gotta have some fun, but when it comes time to getting your school work done, get it done. Come out of there with a 3.5 or up. Everybody can do that as long as you put the work in. Everybody can do it, I promise. So next, you wanna focus on also doing things outside of your curriculum. So projects that 
may not be related to class, whether it be an app or a website or a game, whatever you want to do, be creative, dive into programming outside of class, learn new languages that you're not learning in class, put that on your resume. That's very impressive to employers to see that you're willing to go outside above and beyond what you're, what you're being told to do and you actually enjoy this as a career and as a hobby. If they see that passion, they're gonna enjoy that as well and they're gonna want you working for them. Now, I was lucky and got a chance to do two real world projects during college. One was a web application and one was a GitLab integration script suite kind of thing where I was put into a team and we had a real world client that we had to build an app for. We met with them throughout the semester. The class lasted an entire semester and by the end of it, we had a finished product that we presented to our client and we worked in groups and it was very, very similar to what you're gonna be doing in the real world. So that really benefited me and one of those actually got me my job today. Your school may not have this kind of setup and I think most schools do though. So make sure you put that on your resume. Make sure you work your ass off during those classes because those are very important and look really, really good on the resume. But if they don't have that kind of project in a class, like built into the class, go outside above and beyond again Ask your professors if they know anybody that needs any work done and do some real world projects while you're in college. That's huge. Employers are gonna love it. Next step, I forgot what step I'm on. I'm gonna say four, I'm gonna say four. Do an internship, even if it's not a part of your curriculum. For me it was, I did it over a summer. It was a phenomenal experience. I had a great manager. No matter where you're going, no matter what you do, getting real world industry experience is extremely important before you come out of college. Internships really give you a glimpse at what the real world is going to be like. It gives you great topics to talk about during your interviews. They're super, super useful. It, again, it was literally the best experience of my college career. It was the best thing that could have happened to me and it really helped me elevate my thinking towards CS. You know, it helped me decide what I actually wanted to do. Again, it helped in the interviews, it helps on the resume, everything that, anything like that looks great on a resume. So don't skimp out on the internship. Do it, even if you don't have to to get your degree. So from there, you've graduated college. Make a good resume. I mean, there's plenty of resources out there to help you make a resume. Set up a GitLab, that's very important. It can have your code on it. Put any projects that you worked on on your resume, put any extracurricular projects that you worked on outside of school on your resume. You know, put your internship experience, put your GPA on there, everything. Just make a solid, solid resume. And here's where one of the most difficult parts comes in, and this is the interview process. A lot of people think computer science students are like the, you know, somebody walks in, hey Josh, and honestly that stigma is pretty false from my experience but there are some people that are like that and there are a lot of people in the CS field at least in college that don't have great communication skills and when you go to an interview you need great and I I'm not saying good, I'm, I mean great communication skills because you're talking to people that work with a team, that work with other people day in and day out. They know how to communicate. They know what they want to bring into the company. That's people who can communicate. So you need to be able to be outgoing. You need to bust out of that shell. You can't be shy, you can't be quiet, you can't be, I mean, it's, it's all right to be nervous, but you shouldn't be like shaking and like dripping sweat. You know, you gotta be confident, confident. You can be nervous, but be confident. If you're struggling with that right now and you're younger, maybe you're in high school, maybe you're going into college, maybe you're in college, really work on that. Really work it on your social skills because that is gonna separate you from the pack when it comes to interviews. As well as having a phenomenal resume, if you can sit there and have a great conversation with your interviewer, you know, that's gonna put you above, above the rest. Other than that, guys, just be true to yourself put in practice do code tests do all kinds of stuff online when you're when you're setting up for those interviews work your ass off man that's all I can say you know if, if I can say one main tip that allowed me to get through in four years get job offers before I graduated and then finally accept the job offer that I had today it would be work your ass off my GPA was good I, I 
killed myself to get good grades in high school, in college, and then even when I graduated, I had literally applied to like 200 jobs before I got my dream job. The work doesn't stop once you graduate, you know? The work never stops. Now that I'm working, I'm still working my ass off every single day to improve myself as an employee and as a developer. So work your ass off, put a plan in place early, then work your ass off, and then continue to work your ass off. Work on those social skills, crush your interview, get that dream job, it's all gonna work out. If you like this video, please be sure to leave a like and a comment and subscribe. I will see you guys in the next video. I'll be making more CS tip videos. Thanks for watching. Peace!